There's nothing more powerful than the ability to withhold the get, and there is nothing better for vengeance than withholding the get from the wife. I was a mother with seven children in the span of nine years. I didn't realize there was uh, an affair going on. At that point, he told me that, and this is a you quote, will you will be, be an old and gray aguna in a nursing home. That After her marriage fell apart, Sima enrolled in law school. You're your own best advocate. Can't expect anybody who's hired, any attorney, any rabbi, to know your case as well as you do. My first orientation day at law school, when I took um, a class on international law, and the professor handed out a list of the International Bill of Rights. And one of the rights was the right to marry and divorce. The Jews are consider themselves a light unto other nations, and we're backward in this area. People have to really understand that if you enter into Jewish marriage, that it's not over till the husband says, I do. And because it's not over till the husband says, I do, I do agree to give you a get, uh, a, a woman can be, uh, can be bound to her Jewish marriage forever. Often a woman has to give up everything she's got in order to receive her get. Will you pay by giving up some marital property? Will you pay by waiving your rights to pension benefits? In the worst case, it can be that he demands child custody in order for the wife to gain her freedom. And then there's a choice between her children or her freedom. What kind of choice is that?